Turning now to state politics in Tennessee, state lawmakers are home from Nashville. And if you're wondering what they did that will affect your life and your pocketbook, Calvin Sneed has a closer look at that. Calvin. State Representative Vince Dean is leaving the legislature after nine years being the voice of the 30th district from East Ridge to Apison. Now, we sat down and talked with him, and we looked at some of the highlights of the 108th Tennessee General Assembly. Some actions may surprise you. Others are the results of long fights that are now over. In Tennessee now, residents can only purchase a five-month supply over-the-counter of the allergy medicine pseudoephedrine per year. The drug is also used to make methamphetamine. Is it going to solve the meth problem? No, no. No one silver bullet is going to solve the meth problem. But I think it may move toward helping in the fight against meth. In Tennessee, capital punishment is administered by lethal injection. Without a lot of fanfare, lawmakers approve the use of the electric chair if lethal injection drugs are not available. It came forward. I was kind of surprised that it made it to the House floor, but um, apparently uh, that was the will of the committee system. One money-saving bill passed. Dean sponsored a bill that allows older school buses to remain on the road until they're 18 years old, provided they're under 200,000 miles and they pass inspection every year. He says that will save school districts $56 million the first year alone. We recognize that there's no empirical data to show that uh, the mileage or the age of a school bus makes it any less safe. On the other hand, a measure we were watching that would have changed the way that property is seized during traffic stops was flagged by a legislative watchdog committee. The fiscal note that I read uh, on this bill said that it was not quantifiable. In other words, they couldn't determine how much it would cost the state, but they knew that it would cost the state, in their estimation, quite a bit of money. And in the event that a suspect is accused of child abuse in more than one county, Dean says legislators also approved a bill that consolidates multiple trials into one trial so that one young victim would not have to testify more than once.